Okay, I went ahead and uh, test fitted our, item, our uh, piece of metal in here. Uh, you can see that I made it. It's just a basic, you know, quickie bracket. Eventually, she will have to replace this, okay, to make it proper. But for right now, this is a good temporary fix. It might last uh, uh, five years. It might last 50 years. We don't know, okay? But I'm trying to save her some money right now. And uh, I know a lot of you out there are saying, oh, well, you could have done this and you could have done that. First of all, let me explain something, okay? I'm working upside down here, okay? I'm getting paid minimal wages to do this fucking shit, all right? She didn't pay me to take, the, you know, the owner did not pay me to take this off and properly fix it, okay, where you'd never be able to tell it was fixed. What we're trying to do here, we're trying to get her on the road so she can drive her car. Does that make sense? Because that's what we're doing, okay? So I don't want to hear no bullshit about, uh, you know, Oh, well, you ought to clean that weld up. Oh, well, you ought to do this, okay? Because if you knew how much fucking money I was making, dude. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. So now I got to get this work. Now, basically, what we have here is it looks like somebody had bottomed out with this or something had happened at one time because this just doesn't break off. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and put this back in here. Just like that. You see what I'm doing there? Do you see that? And then I'm going to go ahead and there we go, just like that. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to get my welding mask on. Turn it on. And Cross your fucking fingers that this doesn't have a problem welding on here. Okay. Here we go. One spot right here that I missed. And then I'm going to come back across here. Like that. Alright, there you go. So, we got all our crack and all our... Uh, imperfection fix now what we got to do we got to go ahead and weld this in there and before I weld that I'm gonna go ahead and clean this metal up because if you don't it'll uh once again we're welding upside down so we want to keep it as clean as possible <laughs> okay all right we got all our dirt off now we can go ahead and put our piece in there my neck is fucking killing me about right this time. I'm getting a crimp in my neck like hell. So now I'm going to set my piece in here where I want it. Just like you see right here. I'm going to try to hold that down with my finger and weld at the same time. So i got to be real quick with this or it's going to fucking burn my finger. Then, I'm going to go ahead and take my shock, I'm going to double check 
to make sure that everything lines up just like I want, and it does, we'll take that out of there. And then we're going to go ahead and weld our piece on there. Now, that might look oddball to you, but once again, this is a patch, okay? This is a patch that we're doing upside down in the vehicle, okay? It's hard to do this kind of stuff upside down. And the re another reason that I made it like this, okay, as long as the shock will fit in there, I'm happy with it. Due to the fact that all this right here, if you look, this is very thin on this edge. So all this right here is actually sitting on this ledge here and giving it more support. Later down the line, she will have to replace this if she keeps the car. But right now, we're just basically concerned about getting the car on the road and out of my fucking shop. Okay, you see what I'm talking about, hard to weld upside down. Now we got a good weld right here. I gotta fill a little bit more in right in that area. You go ahead and do that. Okay, take my air hose. put a brand new grinding disc on my grinder and then we'll grind that down and clean it up the best we can and then let it cool down Pretty good to me. I think I'm going to leave it like that. We welded all this up. We got this ready to go. We're going to go ahead and let that cool down. I'll go ahead and mount my shock into the vehicle. We've already pre tested it. And it looks like it's going to fit just fine. Get it up into the hole. You bastard. Don't fuck with me now. There it is. And there you go. One repaired 1955 Buick special suspension fixed. This is Pete. One more little tech tip for you out there, Mr. Homebody, Mr. Blue Collar Worker of America. I'm watching your fucking back, okay? That's right. Vote for my friend Pete. That was a joke. That was a fucking joke. Take it at that only. That was a joke. Uh, I'm going to bolt the shock in there. We're going to have to wait till tomorrow morning. Uh, everybody that was here today has already went home. This has been an all-day project, so tomorrow we're going to bleed the brakes out. We'll get this thing on the ground, and we'll get it out of the shop. It was a big job, but it was an easy job, okay? It was a mind-boggling job. It was a job that you have to take your time, okay? It was a two-part series job. It was putting shocks on the car and fixing the shock, okay, and adding disc brakes. So that was two different jobs we did to this. Uh, the owner wants me to go back and look at a couple more little items. I'm going to check them out for her. And it's nothing really basic. I mean, it's just bullshit stuff. But uh, I want to get this major shit here done before I do anything else. Uh, my neck's fucking killing me. It hurts, and I got to go. Take it easy. And catch me on the next fucking video. Who knows who's going to be here and who knows what job we're going to be doing. Hasta la vista. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop, 
tell you know everything.